Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Bed with Behini. If you're new, my name is Akusia Behini. If you're a tenant subscriber, you're welcome. Thank you so much for always coming back. I love you. I love you. <laughs> my daughter is sleeping today, so that's good. Um, we have exciting news. Um, there's something coming up. There's exciting news coming up and I can't wait to, you know, share it with you guys and just like enjoy the journey with you guys. I feel like it'll be amazing. Um, in last week's episode, I had a conversation with a younger version of myself, okay? I had like a, you know, what I would have or what I would talk to a younger version of me if I had the chance to, things I would tell a younger version of myself. So if you haven't already watched that episode, I would link it up here for you. Um, so be sure to check that out. But in today's episode, we're talking all about productivity. Um, you know, things, how to get unstuck. Like, let me just get straight into it. If you feel um, unproductive, if you've been feeling, you know, in a rut, if you feel like you're stuck, which I feel like that, um, or have felt like that over the past few weeks, then you're with me. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a few things that has helped me, um, you know, or helps me to stay productive generally, you know, as a mom, as a content creator, just in a lot of aspects of life. So this is going to be an episode that you definitely want to watch and, you know, take some notes. So without further ado, my loves, let's get right into it. Today is such a chill vibe. Obviously, you can tell from the vibes. It's just such a chill vibe. Um, and yeah, <laughs> productivity is, is a huge topic. You know, productivity can mean a lot of things to a lot of people. And for me, I feel like every aspect of your life requires some sort of productivity. As a mom, as a content creator, as a nine to fiver, like somebody who works a nine to five job, they expect me to, to be productive. Um, and sometimes you just, you just feel stuck. You feel like, I don't feel like things are going well or I don't see results. I'm not seeing, you know, the results that I want to see. Um, and when you start to feel like that, that's when you have to start asking yourself questions because definitely something is going wrong with your routine. Um, one thing that I always tell myself is when I start to feel stuck, it just means that I'm doing something that no longer works for my current situation. A big example is like before I was working a nine to five job, I had a strict routine. I would do a lot of things, but now because I have a nine to five, I have to tweak my routine, you know, to suit the work and the life that I have right now, just so I can have work-life balance. And I have been doing way too much for somebody who works a nine to five, you know, you, when you start to feel stuck, when you start to feel, um, like, you know, you're not seeing, or you're not being more efficient. You just have to take a minute, literally, <laughs> you know, legit, like stop everything that you're doing, your routines, all the strict routines that you have for yourself. Take a break from all of that. And, you know, assess yourself and start to ask yourself questions, you know, ask yourself, what am I doing? What what do you feel like you're doing that is not working again? I, I guess generally what I want to do is I am going to share with you a few things. Um, I'm going to share with you a few things that I have been doing that helps me or, you know, brings me back on track. Let me say things that I've been doing that brings me literally back on track. And first thing for me is like I'm saying take a minute and just take a break and just stop stop doing everything and start asking yourself questions and you know start as um you know assessing your daily routines and your daily lifestyle and you know the things that you do and with me that will be like me creating content and going to work how do i balance that and how am i being efficient with being a mom and you know being a wife and taking care of my house i have to find the balance with all of these things as one person 
so if i don't structure myself well it's definitely not gonna go well so the first thing you obviously want to do is take a minute ask yourself okay what am i doing what is my routine looking like literally ask yourself what does my day look like what is my routine built of do i have a routine there's so when you start to like ask yourself all these questions a lot of things will come into play that's when you start to know and like get the answers to so many things and then things will start to make sense to you as to why you feel the way you feel or as to why you're not being um, as efficient as you were before it will make perfect sense to you and you will understand that before you probably had a different circumstance and right now you have a whole different circumstance and you're trying to do the same things that you were doing before it doesn't work like that so you have to take a minute stop and then ask yourself and then now you start to restructure you know your routines and the things that you do in a daily to make you feel productive okay. now point number two for me will be you had to literally restructure your entire routine which ties in with point number one restructure your routine to suit your current lifestyle and for me that would be i know that i have a nine to five so on days when i have work i know that i have work this is work that i get paid to do so i have an obligation to the company that i work with to be productive to be efficient and the you know obviously the money value and then also it's like a career path and everything so when you think about that you're like okay i know that this area of my life requires me to be productive in this way so this is what i'm gonna do and with me when it comes to work i'm working on communication i'm working on you know um client success because i do customer service and i'm talking to clients every customers or client every day so i'm working on you know how to communicate how to not th take things personally um how to go to work on time a lot of things in that area i'm working on so i'm going to build structure in my daily routine that allows me to leave home on time get to work with a peaceful mind just so that i can be able to the to um just so that i can be able to be the best version of myself for my work make sense yeah so you need to restructure your routine um to suit the different areas in your life currently and i repeat i say that um, i'm going to emphasize currently because it needs to suit your current lifestyle not somebody's routine that you've seen on instagram or youtube no it needs to suit your lifestyle your situation and you know what you can take and what you can work around so again build a routine that works for you in the moment and as you go you'll be tweaking it to work for you know how your life is going my third point is another thing that i do oh i love this point so much and i was so happy that i actually remembered to include it is declutter okay when you begin to feel um stuck or unproductive one thing that i do so i guess i'm just suggesting that you do it too but one thing that i do is declutter over the weekend i did a huge spring cleaning and oh my goodness i feel amazing if i tell you how good that makes me feel my bedroom is clean my closet folded clothes organized color coordinated like i cannot tell you how much that makes my soul happy you know and you sometimes you underestimate how little things like that um make an impact on your general mood you know and your general mentals but i've also come to realize that personally the more i have clutter around or things around like my entryway was so full with things and i'm whenever i came home from work i was stressed out because i i'll just enter and i'm like oh my god this is a lot of things and i have to deal with it i kept telling myself i have to find a way to make my entryway more like minimalist because it gives me like a breath of fresh air and i did that over the weekend and i'm it's just amazing so 
and um, yeah i'm just gonna suggest that try decluttering your space take out things that you don't need you know throw away stuff that you don't need you know spring clean um all the chunky jackets and everything stash them away and bring out some nice spring clothes you know something you know clean out your space i find that it definitely helps to clean out your mind generally you can do a di digital clean on your phone um you know delete some stuff from your phone some apps just generally declutter your life and it helps you to come back on track it helps you to feel like yep i'm ready to start again i'm ready to like you know start again and go again and you know just conquer my goals again so definitely decluttering for me is a huge point always 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 declutter when you feel like that it helps me to feel so good so that's a tip <laughs> now this next point is a point that i am yet to do i'm not gonna lie it's a point that i am yet to do um but i have been you know trying to like get out of the rut myself as i said this is a phase that i have been in um and i figured it will be amazing to talk to you guys about it but one thing that i have learned that you could do is a time audit apparently um doing a time audit is literally just auditing your day telling um asking yourself what are the things that you do in a day what are you spending your time on what are you supposed to be doing that you're not doing which and when i like looked into it i'm like this is actually something that is good because it makes sense because you get to actually see what you spend the day doing what do you spend your time in the day doing you know and then you see what you're supposed to do that you did not do because as a mom sometimes you do so much things around the house and at the end of the day it, you end up with so much mess and then you're like well what did i do i thought i was i spent the whole day doing this and it's still the same thing you know what i'm saying so you need to ask yourself these questions doing a time audit i am going to do that myself and i cannot wait so let's do it together okay this is going to be a little challenge um to you do a time audit and then generally that audit will be perfect to you know helping me and you to see exactly what our week looks like you know and it will show you what you're spending time on what needs your attention what doesn't really need your attention but you've been doing a lot and then it will help you figure out how to tweak you know your day to get more productivity because sometimes the things that we want to do we're not supposed to be spending so much time on so you can be cutting out times from the things that you want to be doing so that you can allocate a lot more time for the things that you need to be doing um so that audit is definitely something that we're going to be doing that time audit i am throwing that challenge out to you again i will be doing mine this evening so i'm excited to do that um but do it let me know how it goes and yeah let's so the next thing um that i would say that helps me to stay productive especially like daily type of productive will be having a top three okay i find that that is definitely something that helps a lot you know just knowing that you achieved your top three things for the day whatever you want that to be it could be working out for an hour um, it could be spending time for me sometimes that would be spending time outside with my baby because sometimes I'm doing so much creating content and because I go to work you know you're not always at home and you know you want to be able to spend that family time that mommy time um, with the kids and you know so that I make time to do that I literally make time um, to do that so do a top three I, I'd say that do a top three because that's something that definitely helps me to feel productive knowing that I ticked off at least my top three for the day that makes me feel good so to you what is that top three things that you're supposed to do in a day
it could be anything every day is different for what your top three would be but definitely add it to you know one of those things that you would do because it definitely makes it helps me um because it helps me to feel so productive when i know that i have done at least the top three things on my top three list so that is a point <laughs> another so, thing that i'll say is setting like small goals i know the whole vision board thing is like you know i love me a vision board don't get me wrong like i love a vision board but sometimes that is like so huge so what i found that can also you know help and not so like scare you sometimes is creating little goals you know just setting that little goals for yourself they could be monthly goals um quarterly goals yearly goals yearly goals is big which you should have um but you should also have small small goals that you want to see so it could be every two months you want to achieve that or every one month you want to see this or every one month you want to save this amount um, amount of money or you know what is that goal little goal that you want to set for yourself it shouldn't always be the big goal that you like evaluate at the end of the year so imagine if you have little goals at the end of the year you sit back or you sit down and then you look back you have achieved so many things because you did all these little 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 things so it shouldn't always be like huge wins you should also have little wins that will sum up to that big win for you i find that that definitely um you know makes me personally makes me feel like you know okay I did that you know I achieved this in this area I did that in this area and this goal has been achieved or oh, I ticked off this goal you know so definitely set off little goals for yourself as a content creator um, for me sometimes I tell myself that I want to be consistent this whole month with no complaints like literally no complaints and whenever I feel tired I remind myself of the goal no complaints <laughs> because i put it there i say it, no complaints so when i um it, it reminds me of what i'm supposed to be doing and it's a monthly goal and just knowing that i can reward myself at the end of the month with a little something you know maybe a little skincare product from sephora just a little something it makes me feel good it makes me want to even work towards the goal um you know better if you get what i'm saying so set little goals for yourself it definitely helps um to make you feel more like achieved or more like you know like you're going you know it doesn't always have to be a rush it doesn't always have to be a rush the last but not the least point which is actually something that i it's it's like it's something that works for me every time whenever i feel stuck or whenever i feel like especially as a content creator this always plays out the majority of the times as a content creator and then also sometimes as just a regular person you know when i feel stuck and i go back to look at some of my old videos it reminds me <laughs> it reminds me of where life has brought me and it tells me that see you're just joking keep on filming and shut up <laughs> and i'm not even kidding it is so true because sometimes you feel like you know social media algorithm and everything is not always gonna be for you and i'm gonna use my content creation as an example because that's the one thing that um or that's the one area that i feel like that about sometimes and you know for me when i go to my snapchat and snapchat is an amazing place for keeping memories and i'm so grateful for that platform because years ago i was so consistent on that platform keeping and storing everything and right now i'm so happy that i did that because i'm not about a lot of the things that i was about like six years ago and i have all of that memories on my phone and it's amazing and you know looking back at my makeup content and how much of like this journey i have been doing sometimes it feels like you haven't been doing it but you've been doing it you've been doing the work okay and sometimes it feels like you're not growing or sometimes it feels like you haven't elevated yourself but you have and you just need to look at your old videos from 2012 <laughs> 
not even like I'm not even joking like just go back and watch your videos or watch your works or watch your you know your just look at your photos from six seven years ago um, look at some of your goals from six seven years ago and that will remind you of why you're doing what you're doing and that will put you back on your feet if that alone doesn't make you feel unstuck I don't know what else I don't know what else you want to hear <laughs> I really don't know what else you want to hear I'm not even kidding if the journey and you know the growth and everything doesn't make you feel um, like you want to get up and go for it or you want to get up and restructure your mind or restructure your routine or you know set some extra goals for yourself then I don't know what else is going to motivate you your own journey should be your motivation your own life should be your motivation and that is if you're allowing yourself to go through the journey of growth and the process of like you know allowing yourself to grow with the times and you know learning and developing Developing yourself that's how you're going to see the growth but if you're not and you're being stagnant with your life <laughs> we are going to get you out of that rat okay we're taking you out of that rat so um, yeah I'm very happy that I stated that because that always 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 reminds me and you know puts me back on track it tells me you know whenever I watch old videos and I feel like whenever I feel unmotivated for whatever reason the universe gets me to just take my phone and go to snapchat however however I don't know but one some way somehow I just happen to like stumble upon old photographs or old contents that I've already created and everything and it reminds me and it gets me to certain new goals and like I'm building a new routine for myself and like feeling motivated again so I felt like I should definitely add that to this because like I keep looking at my microphone because I'm scared that it might not be catching up on the sound but it is so okay <laughs> um but yeah i'm not gonna stress on that point too much but if you get it comment below let me know um but the last thing i want to say before um i end this episode is definitely be gentle with yourself okay be gentle with yourself if you're feeling stuck if you're feeling unproductive if you feel like you're not being as efficient as you used to be be gentle with yourself take your time breathe relax restructure things give yourself grace and just get back on track life again is not a rush it's not a competition with anybody yes feeling productive and just seeing results in your life is like a good thing that helps you or keeps you going but whenever you don't see or you're not seeing the results in the time it just means that it's time for you to take a step back reevaluate things and then you know go again it's never like a fail like you haven't failed at anything nobody's like trying to mark like test you or mark you like exams or anything no ain't nobody watching take your time be gentle with yourself and pick yourself up again and keep going okay so yeah <laughs> but yeah it's been an exciting episode as per usual i love you guys so much whenever i sit down to talk to you guys i feel so connected okay i feel so connected um bed is my baby i say it every time she is literally my baby and i'm so happy um with the reception from you guys but i'm gonna go away now and before i go away as always comment below what is that one thing that you do to help you feel um unstuck or to help you feel more productive what is that thing that you do that makes you see results in your life please share it with us i want to know because girl i'm trying to pick up everything okay i'm trying to be the best version of myself and grow in every area of my life so share with us let us know let all my um amazing viewers let them know in the comment below and yeah as always virtual hacks I love you guys you guys know that I love you so much I'm gonna go away now thank you so much um, for always watching bed and I will see you guys in the next video bye <laughs> bye guys